I'm headed to the mall right now to pick up my pair. Guys, we won a sneaker raffle, an in-store sneaker raffle. This is a rare occasion. Does anybody else wear headphones even when there's no music playing just so that they can act like they can't hear people like I'm gonna do right now to this guy? He asked me if I wanted my shoes clean. I hate these guys at the mall. <laughs> Alright, I've taken so many L's on this Foot Locker like confirm thing they do. But we finally took a W. Nothing like a fresh pair, even if you already have them. And I'm not trying to flex on you guys. Like, I'm just literally speaking facts. All right, guys, so we are back at the crib right now. Just so y'all can see. The reason why I needed to enter this raffle is because I needed a pair for the Sneakerheads Be Like giveaway. If you guys didn't know, I'm giving away a pair of Jubilee 11s and Midnight Navy Jordan 1. So yeah, I needed to secure a pair so that I can give them away to one of you guys. And if you want to enter the giveaway, go watch Sneakerheads Be Like on the Kaisomar channel and you'll get the info for the giveaway. But yeah, we're not talking about those too much today. I got a pretty big mystery box in the mail a few weeks ago and I have not touched it yet. As you guys can see from these angles that I'm showing you, it is a pretty decent size. Yeah, I haven't done a mystery box in a few months, I think. So I'm really excited to open this. The twist is, is that this isn't just sneakers and streetwear and things like that. Like there are cards in here. If you guys have been paying attention to the card hype right now from Pokemon to basketball cards, like it's just skyrocketing. It's booming. It's like the new Bitcoin or something like that. Like it's just been crazy. Oh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys this in my videos, but I showed it to you on Instagram. New Balance sent me the Jolly Rancher collab with Kawhi Leonard sneaker. Hi, t-shirt in here, it's got the Kawhi faces on it. If I already showed you guys this in a past video, I apologize, my memory is just, it's all over the place. Here are the shoes. I was a huge fan of the first like Kawhi sneaker, the one that wasn't really his official shoe, but it was his shoe, which was, I don't know. But this is like the official, official Kawhi, and this is the Jolly Rancher collaboration. We even got the little homies on the, let me show you a better angle. We got the Kawhi face Jolly Rancher characters on there. Then if we go back in the bag, You can see they kind of wrapped it up like a Jolly Rancher candy too, so that was pretty cool. This right here is like the lifestyle version of the sneaker. All the Jolly Rancher colors on the bottom. New Balance logo, which actually kind of like pops out. Really, really nice leather quality on here too. And then we got the logos on the tongue and on the inside as well, so. Thank you New Balance for the package. It's always a blessing to get sneakers from companies. You know, even though Kawhi beat my Warriors to win his championship in Toronto, we're gonna let it slide because he doesn't play for them anymore, so. All right, now back to this mystery box. Let's hit the intro. I don't know why I'm doing all these weird angles. What's in the box? So this mystery box behind me was sent to me by a company called Profit Box. Now, although they did send me this box for free, I just want to make a disclaimer that this is not like a paid sponsorship. And the reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of people have been calling me out saying that every video is basically an ad. I'm someone whose content is based around product, sneakers, fashion, it's all about products. And although you guys think a lot of the times I'm getting paid, I'm not really getting paid. Sometimes I accept stuff for free like this box so I can can make content for you and show you dope types of mystery boxes and things like that. Especially right now, I can't go out and vlog the way I used to vlog because we're in a pandemic still. So when I get companies hitting me up to send me stuff like this, of course I'm gonna accept it because I can make content out of it and show you guys dope companies who sell dope stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what the profit box is all about. Put this uh, next to me right here. So the thing about the profit box is obviously in the name. They make these mystery boxes so that you, the customer, can open it up and possibly make some profit off of what's inside. They say that the point is to provide products that can be easily resold to make a profit of 15 and typically upward of 25% with every box. And they also included a list in here for me to show what basically the market value is of each item. But obviously I want to have that surprise element. That's the best part of a mystery box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that after. So obviously if you do end up enjoying what's in this box and you want to test this out for yourself, I'm going to link it down below. So yeah, it's in the description. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. The first item. Now I saw this box box and I knew this was not a new pickup. These are the types of boxes we got when we were in high school and we bought like Air Force Ones and this is this is an Air Force One. And if this is okay, so basically wait, 
if this is what I think it is, then this is pretty crazy that they included this in the box because this is an actual pair that I had back in high school. I actually got this exact shoe. If it's the one I think it is, I got the same exact shoe at a Nike town. Wow, that is crazy. All right, if it's that shoe, I'm literally gonna be like, I'm gonna trip out because why would they include this? Like I have not mentioned that I own this shoe in so long. What the bruh? Shy Town Air Force Ones. What the? This is probably like the most random sneaker you can include in a box. But I'm so happy because I literally had these in high school. This is crazy, bro. This is an OG pair, like dead stock OG Air Force One. Like this is a crazy flex, man. Production date on this is 614. 2004 man this shoe is probably older than some of you guys watching this video right now i don't even know what happened to my pair i'm very very happy to add these back in the collection these right here and the scarface air force ones are two of my favorite air force ones of all time like this is crazy like did they watch like an old video where i mentioned this shoe or something because i can't even remember where i ever mentioned owning this shoe all right so yeah that was a pretty crazy way to start off the profit box. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna try to find like a pack of cards or something. I think I got something here. All right, we got some cards, some trading cards. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do with all the trading cards. There might be more in here, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna literally open all of these after I take everything out. But yeah, we're definitely gonna break these packs. Is, is that what they say? Break packs, pack breaking or something. All right, let's open up some shoes. Ultra Boost, size nine and a half. This one is, uh, might be a half size too small for me. Oh, okay, we got some Ultra Boost. These are the Star Wars Ultra Boost. I really like that they could do like patterns on the boost now. That's that's actually pretty sick. All right, let's keep going. And we got a football in here. Profit margin is on this, but this is definitely looking like it's some type of special. Oh, it's Heron Preston. This is from the Nike Heron Preston collab. This is definitely gonna be a cool display piece. I don't know if I'm gonna resell this one, to be honest with you. All right, let's keep it going. There's one more box of shoes in here. Cards, what is this? Oh my God, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look at this. It's a little Stone Cold Steve Austin, like pendant or something like that. We got another one of these card packs right here grab all these cards real quick we got some cards that are out of their pack Woo! bro what the so we got a kobe and we got a shack card we got a t-mac and an iverson right here all right we got bro freaking charizard how much is this worth this might be worth like i don't know i know that like this is not a first edition so that doesn't mean that much yo this is a freaking charizard this is like the card obviously this is not like the the logan paul charizard but this is a it's a charizard man i had this when i was a kid too which is crazy i traded all my pokemon cards to get a charizard back in elementary school i don't know what this is worth but we're gonna look into that after we got iverson right here with a piece of his jersey that's pretty sick man this is dude there's a lot of dope stuff in here rookie t-mac card too we got a kd rookie card as well we got a scotty pippen card and this actually has a piece of like i don't know i don't think that's his jersey but it's something of his we got a vince card Carter card right here. This one's actually already been graded as well. You know, if you guys know how cards work, you know you gotta get your cards graded to get top value. Like Tops football card unopened. We got four packs of this these cards right here. All right, so we got one more shoe box in here. Oh, there's more stuff. Hold on. A little bit of hype here. We got Supreme stickers or what are they called? We got the Supreme like name tag stickers right here. And then we got a bunch of these Panini. Yo, I'm excited to break these open. We're going to open these up in this video, guys. I'm not taking any like I'm not holding back on you guys. I'm going to open up all these cards. Oh my god, guys. Holy crap. There's actually two boxes in here. All right, so we got a pair of Jordan 3s and then if if my history, if my sneaker knowledge is correct, this is from a Jordan 1 pack. So we possibly have a pair of Jordan 1 and then we have an old pair of Jordan 3s. And I really like that they're including like older shoes in the box. They're not including new stuff. Obviously the Ultra Boost is different, but like the Air Force 1s. And then like you could just tell this is not a normal Jordan box. This is an old Jordan box. So I'm going to take this out. What is this? This is like a little LV book right here that has like different like addresses and restaurants all around Los Angeles. This is, I don't know, give this to Mina. She might like that. All right, so let's open these up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay. We got some fire red Jordan 3s. Oh, eight. These are from 2008. 
back when they used to include retro cards in your box. If you remember the retro cards, then you're definitely an OG sneakerhead. But yeah, man, we got a pair of Fire Red 3s. As you guys can see, these ones are worn, so there might be a little bit of profit, but probably nothing too crazy because this is a pair that it has a little bit of cracking on there and eventually they will fall apart. So you gotta be careful with the shoe like this. I think we have a pair of Jordan 1s in here. I could be wrong. I forget what's the name of this pack. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is Raging Bull. This is not even Jordan 1. This is the Raging Bull pack. The 3M black pair. I've never owned this. Yes, I actually always wanted this shoe. I've never owned this shoe. Size 10. Yes. Size 10, baby. Let's go. Raging Bull Jordan 5. That is a good sneaker to include. They are worn, but it's all good because your boy is going to be wearing these. Yo, dude, I'm honestly so happy with the sneakers they included. The Ultra Boost, I'll probably either sell those or give those away. And then the Fire Red 3s, I'll probably sell these or give these away as well. I want to look over the price guide they sent me to kind of compare prices. The market value on the Raging Bull is about 250 Ultra Boost, 70 bucks. Shaquille O'Neal card is worth 20 bucks. The Kobe card they sent me is worth 50 bucks. Okay, that's a nice card right there, $50. So this one, yeah, this Kobe card is worth 50 bucks. Kevin Durant rookie card is worth 10 bucks. That's disappointing. These KD packs are worth 70 bucks. The sealed Panini packs, the one with Kobe on it, these are worth 25. Damn, the Stone Cold pin is worth 40 bucks. That's pretty crazy. 2002 Charizard PSA gradable is worth 160 bucks. Oh my God, and this will probably be worth more if I actually get it graded. But yo, I want to get into opening up these packs, so let's break some cards. Is that what they called? All right, so here are the cards that we're literally about to open up. Again, I don't know too much about cards. I might be an idiot for opening these up. I'm going to open up this one first because I feel like this is like, I don't know what this is. It feels like there's like gum in here or something. Is this gum? This card is for all right, there you go. That's the football pack. I don't know anybody in in this deck. Should I choose? Should I try this? No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna try this. All right, let's get into these basketball cards. Oh my God! Look what we got right off the bat. We got an MJ. We got an MJ. Oh my God, that's gotta be worth something, man. We got Marcus Saul. Okay, so this pack isn't that old. We got Marcus Saul. We got Steve Nash. Another MJ. Oh my god. We got two MJs. We got two MJs. Ooh, okay. okay. Who that is? Ray Allen. Ooh, your boy Nate Robinson. I'm saying, you know, yeah. you guys know. You know what happened to my boy Nate. We got Andre Miller. Always an annoying player, but very good. Oh my god. Darko Milicic. Can you believe this guy got drafted before Carmelo Anthony? These Jordan ones right here, I'm interested to find out how much these are each worth. They could be nothing or it could be something, I don't know. But definitely got, I might have some doubles in here. Honestly, I don't know. I gotta relook at all of them, but. Yeah, some of these are just sick to have as an MJ fan. It would be cool to just collect these, but yeah, so. We got these ones right here. We're gonna open these up. I gotta be very gentle, cause you never know what's inside. There could be something worth a lot or it just could be a bunch of bricks. Uh, Oh, Michael Red, he was a beast. Zach Randolph. Oh, okay. yes. oh Hakeem the Dream. Right, Sean Marion. Right, Sean Marion. Dwight Howard. Rudy Gay. Ooh, Mark Price. All right, Mark Price. Where are my card experts at? Here we go. Ooh, Lamar Odom. Oh my God. What was this guy's name? Zadrunas Elgowskis. This guy got freaking, uh, he freaking played with LeBron everywhere he went. Elton Brad, that's not a bad one. Ooh, Dennis Rodman, this is cool. I won't hear. Jesse Billups, I'm not a big fan of him because he beat Kobe in the finals. Ooh, hoo -hoo! another MJ. All right, this one might be worth something. Luol Dang, we got Luol Dang, and then last but not least. Who's this? Wilson Chandler. Okay, Wilson Chandler. Damn, we got my boy MJ on top. This now let's open up these Kobe packs. These are Panini. Then we got KG in the All-Star jersey. All right, so no Kobe in the packs, but we got some good stuff, man. 
we got some good stuff all right guys so that's pretty much the mystery box right there it was honestly pretty fun opening up these cards but i really don't know too much about like trading cards and values and things like that so i'll probably just hold on to these and just I don't know, maybe I'll resell them, maybe I'll just keep them, I haven't decided yet. But if there's anything that I like miss that you guys know is worth like crazy amounts or something like that, obviously comment down below. Uh, I think this video was pretty long, so I'm pretty much just gonna end it here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit different than just sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. Sometimes you just gotta switch things up. But if you did enjoy, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe because we are uploading a new video every day for the month of December. But I'm also giving away Grinch Kobe's on my Instagram right now. Now. So if you want to win the Grinch Kobe Pro Tro 5s, I mean sixes, go to my Instagram right now and go to my last post because that giveaway is officially live. All right, so I created a little bit of a mess, so I'm going to start cleaning all this up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, Dream Crew family. I wasn't going to do that. Mm -hmm.